Screenster makes test maintenance super easy. Let's see how we can make changes to a recorded test. I have recorded a small test that searches for coffee mugs on Amazon. Now I'll review it. Clicking on Edit button opens test in edit mode. I'll go to the last step where an item was selected. This is a nice looking mug, so I'm going to add a step to the test that would place the mug into the Amazon's cart. I select the button on the screenshot with the mouse and add the test step with a click on it. Let's replay the test and see what Screenster will do. During replay, the button is clicked and the Screenster takes a screenshot for the new step. The run is now finished. Let's see the results. Clicking on the current status opens the test in edit mode, taking me to the first step that will be reviewed. This step has differences with the baseline because the mug is now added to the cart. It worked. I can add several steps at once by selecting existing steps with Ctrl key pressed and copying them to the clipboard by pressing Ctrl C. I'll paste the copied steps after this step by pressing Ctrl V. I've instantly copied the entire fragment searching for an item. Now let's change the test to search for something else like a hammer. To edit the step, I just hover over it and click on the Edit from the pop-up menu. Here I can modify the text input. After clicking Save, I can replay the test again and see the result. I'll stay here and refresh the page when the notification pops up. Now the last step shows me a variety of hammers instead of coffee mugs. You can easily modify the target element of a step, selecting another element on the screenshot and telling Screenster to use it. Screenster will click on this link during the next run. You can use drag and drop to reorder steps and delete steps that you don't need anymore. But who wants to do all this work manually? One of my favorite Screenster features is continue recording which allows me to use Recorder to add steps to the existing test. I add a breakpoint to a step. Now new actions will be added before it. I click on Continue Recording button and wait until the breakpoint is reached. Now I can interact with the page like a regular user. I'll add the item to the card and when I'm done, press the blue Resume button at the top. My new steps have been added to the test and it's been updated. In just a few minutes, we've edited steps input, reordered steps, changed the target element for a command, and edit steps through recording. Screenster makes test maintenance a breeze. Try Screenster online for free at screenster.io.